Hi, my lovies. So, outfit of the day. Getting ready to go to Minamon City Mall to get some data, give you guys some info so you can kind of get a breakdown of how much it costs to get like a portable router and how much a lot of data costs. So stay tuned. Um, yes. This is what around Minimani City Mall looks like. Pretty nice. It's gonna be fast because I don't want him to tell me to put it away. So let me just put it away before they say something. back there mambo my loves um caribou sign on to my channel um yeah my name is b beatrice b baby b mom b <laughs> um so i just pretty much want to review a product that i bought from minimum city mall um recently um and it's a portable uh router called Alcatel this is it right here and mainly what I was looking for I was looking for um, a 4G portable uh, router something that I'll be able to take around with me especially um, since I'll be moving around just enjoying you know Tanzania um, and pretty much they gave me um, the employees pretty much told me that this was the best um brand to go with and the box also says um 4g right here i don't know if you guys can see that right here says 4g on it but <laughs> it's not 4g at all it does get the work done um it takes a little while for me to connect to what it is that i need to connect to um, but it does get the work done, but it's, it's not 4G and I'm pretty much doing this review just to alert some of you um, That are looking to buy a router first and foremost when when I went into the mall I entered um, The mall at a different location or not a location at a different entrance than the entrance I've used in the past and I remember I walked into Samsung and I asked this lady and I was like, hey, what's, what's, uh, which way do I go to um, get to Vodacom? And, <laughs> oh, people, she looked me dead in my face and said that Vodacom was closed, but she would take me somewhere else. Um, 
to pretty much she she asked me why I needed to go to Vodacom and I was like well I just want a portable router with like fast speed and so forth she was like oh no they're closed but I'll take you somewhere else um, I'll take you to a place you can get that and then she takes me to this place that I don't know it's <laughs> almost gonna make me feel like you know one of those you know on the movies where you see like a drug dealer and you're like yeah you know let me take you to my I guess my person my main contact and they take you all throughout the cut and then there's this little door <laughs> and there's a person sitting there <laughs> in this little room with with everything in there that's pretty much what it was like like she took me around maybe that wasn't a good example but that's what I could come up with she took me around and and then in this little cup was this business it was like literally a business um of different you know um hardware um devices and but it wasn't out in the open like there's a door there's a main door that looked like a store space and then you get in there it's actually a business and when i started chatting with her she told me that the the router the price she gave me was eighty dollars us and i was like eighty dollars us i was like i think yeah she said 185 um tanzanian chillings 185,000 tanzanian chillings and i was like 185,000 that's a lot and she was like oh and then she 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 was like she she gave me this look she was like oh yeah it's it's universal <laughs> and i was like man i <laughs> i don't believe you but i was like no thank you and then i walked around the mall and i finally <laughs> got to vodacom and vodacom was open and before i even got there i remember thinking why would samsung and everywhere else be open and vodacom one of the main service providers is closed that doesn't make sense um, so I was like, okay, just walk around the mall and try to find the other entrance. And then I finally got to Vodacom. Yeah, Vodacom was open. <laughs> As I suspected, it was open. Um, so when I got there, I pretty much told them I wanted something with um, high speed, high speed internet, um, more so 4G. And they were like, yeah, this is the best one. This work for you. And... <laughs> Oh man, I need to learn Swahili because if you don't know Swahili, once you start speaking English, it's just like dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar, dollar, dollar everywhere. Yeah, and they just started quoting me, um, quoting me in prices, and I was like, I know you're just telling me that price because you hear me speaking English. And he was like, No, it is. Um, I think at first he said eighty five thousand, then he said. 75,000 and I was like are you sure that's <laughs> are you sure that's 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 the final price or that's just the price you're giving to people with American accents is, is, is that's the final price and he was like yeah that's that's the price no that's the price and I was like how come it's not on how come it's not listed on here anywhere he was like no because we just tell people that's that's the price and then when I went to purchase um the the device itself they said i had to pay uh for the bandwidth separately <laughs> so they gave me a list of different prices to choose from i believe it was like fifty thousand tanzanian and chilies eighty five thousand tanzanian and chilies and like 100 or 200 000 or 125 000 Tanzanian chillings and I remember looking like okay I was like so you're giving me all the higher prices let me see the lower ones and, you, and then you started laughing and I remember saying to myself V you know they're just like they're just giving you their prices taking their cuts and what can you do you don't you don't speak the language 
So pretty much um, we went through it and I ended up paying 125000 total. Um, yeah, and that equates to what, roughly about $50 US. Um, but yeah, so I just thought I would do this review just in case you, if, you, if you're here in Tanzania and you've, um, you're using a, 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 a service that's way better than this, please do email me and let me know and if you're coming from the u.s to tanzania please <laughs> get one from the u.s or um i don't know or i will keep you guys posted if i find one that if i find a service provider that is much faster than this but so far yeah it gets the work done but it, it takes much longer and it's definitely not 4g i don't care what the box is i don't care what the employee says i don't care who's used it it's not 4g because i've used 4g for a long time and the speed and everything is is different and i only have one device connect to it connected to it and based on what i do it the speed should still be fast much faster than it is okay Everyone just thought I'll <laughs> do this review so you know quite hairy. Um, have a good one.